Hey everybody, Matt DeGrower here, uh, once again from Sure to Grow Studios, bringing you the third installment in the series of how to hydroponics. The first one we discussed which hydroponic system would be best for you, and the second one we built a top drip system. Now, without further ado, what are we building this time, Matt? Flood and drain, Jeremy Borger. Hi, Flood everyone. and drain. Flood and drain system. All right, so. Let's do it. What do we need for it to make a flood and drain system? Well, first we're going to need a reservoir, and that's what we have here. This is a tote. If it looks familiar, it's the same tote from the top drip episode that we did. Okay. Uh, it's about a 28-gallon tote uh, purchased from Home Depot, relatively uh, strong in its construction. There's some pre-drilled holes into the top array. These were the holes that were left over from the top drip episode. These will be the three holes that we'll be employing today. So okay. let's pop this lid off and see what pop we have this inside. sucker open. What we got in there, Borger? We got, I don't know, stuff. What's this thing? Ah, that's a micropore air stone. Um, this is the Boss Hog micropore air stone. These are the ones that we like to use in the Sure to Grow lab. They create a really, really small diameter bubble, and that creates a really high amount of dissolved oxygen in your bath, and that's critical. Air goes into there, bubbles out. How much does this cost? This is exceptionally expensive. Really? About 60 bucks. Okay, so this you, is the most expensive piece? Well, you don't have to use these. You can use, uh, they make smaller ones that are in the shape of maybe like a half of a pop can. You can get those for about four bucks. Okay. I like these because you can clean them and use them. They're exceptionally durable. And for what we do in the lab, as far as the amount of growth cycles that we run, these are really beneficial. And where do you buy that? That's going to have to come from a hydroponic retailer. Okay. Um, what else we got here? This thing, a pump. Another pump. Once again, just a standard aquarium pump. This one's 220 gallons per hour. Um, this is going to power the flood and drain. This is what's actually going to flood the table. Okay. How much? 24 bucks. Okay. Um, this thing. Aren't these you things. Yes, right here. These are, these are critical. These are your flood and drain fittings. These are what's going to allow you to flood and drain your table. I don't have any risers attached to these because it's not critically important. You're going to have to decide how high you want that drain riser to be because that's going to tell you how deep the water is in the table. So if you're using a 4-inch block or 6-inch block or a 4-inch block on a slab or a 6-inch block on a slab or a block inside of a hydrogen bed. Many different combinations. We wouldn't want to use hydrogen though, Borger. You know why? Because it clogs your stuff. It does clog your stuff. And you have to wash your balls. And you have to wash your balls. See, I so learned. what we're going to do and what we have done already is we've developed a new product called STG Hail. It's an aggregate, and you're going to get to see some of it in this video. Okay, cool. Um, black tubing. Black spaghetti tubing? Uh, no. Black this is, one eighth inch tubing? It is black one eighth inch tubing, but this is, in this circumstance, to be used with this Boss Hog Air Stone. This is how you're going to get air to that reservoir. Okay. And that's cheap, right? Yeah, this is about a buck 35 worth. Um, this is, what's this? This is half inch irrigation line again. Okay. As you can see, it's a, it's a commonplace item in hydroponics. So we have some of this, a couple lengths of it we're going to use to actually plumb the reservoir to the table. What does plumb mean? Like plumbing? Like you're going oh, to okay, plumb okay. it to the no, table. I, I That's know. how you're going to get it. liquid. I'm here. I'm here. Um, Standard air pump. This air is pump. a Gen Hydro Bluestone air pump. Relatively expensive once again, but exceptionally durable. So uh, I brought these along today because this is what I would run in this system. Now, when you say relatively expensive, you're about talking... sixty-five bucks. Okay, this thing again. I remember from the last video, we poke holes in tubing. Yeah, we poke holes in tubing. Unfortunately, this doesn't even belong in there. Okay, so we don't need that. We don't need that. All right, and then this thing looks dangerous. This is actually a PVC shear. Um, I also use these to cut tubing as well because it gives me a nice clean cut. And uh, if you cut tubing continuously with a pair of scissors, generally you ruin the scissors. Okay. So cool. here's what we have. All right. Let's it's empty. Yeah. Let's get started. Let's do it. We have the pump here. Let's take the pump, attach it to a piece of half inch hose, right like this. All right. You don't so, trust me to do this on my own? I'm going to ask you to plug this one in. Okay. Though. You want you to take that eighth inch irrigation line, plug it into the top of that. Eighth inch irrigation line getting plugged into the air stone. And then I want you to plug the other end into the one with the valve that's turned on. See, I have four valves on this manifold, but I'm only going to use one of them because I want to use all the air volume to push that one stone. Okay. So, so which, yeah. which, how do you know, how do I know which one's The on? only oh, one okay. that's different. Can you Three. guess which nah. air thing's doing its thing? Yeah. Right. Four of these air things belong together. Yeah. All right. So air is just going to, this, this pump is going to shoot air through this tubing. Into that air stone, which Into is going to oxygenate stone, the reservoir. Which goes in there. Right. So the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to take that air pump, set it to the side. 
I don't want the air pump to go in the water. Huh? Uh, probably not. That'd be a bad thing. We're going to run the electrical holes for our electrical line for the pump out that hole right there. All right. Where does this go? Right like that. Snap that lid on. Same PVC stand that you saw before. And then what I have here is just a standard concrete mixing tub. You can buy one of these at Home Depot for about $11.88. Uh, Around. A, give or take. Um, but I like to use these as flood and drain trays because one, they're exceptionally inexpensive. Uh -huh. uh, two, they're a great size as far as manageability if you have a smaller space. Three, they're a little bit deeper than a standard flood and drain table. So if you have large plants with big root masses, you can flood the entire root mass and not even have to worry about it. Okay. What I want you to do is I want you to take this bottom rubber washer off these flood and drain fittings like this. Slide it right through the hole. Okay. And then the screw it the back hole. on the other side. Okay. Our cameraman's going to kill us, but people know how to do this. I'm going to show you what he's doing right here. He's just going to take this, slide it through the hole that I've drilled into the bottom of the flood and drain table, and then he's going to screw this on the bottom. What that's going to do is it's going to create a bulkhead from which water can pass from the inside of this into the reservoir. That's how we keep it recirculating. So it seals the edge. Right. So it doesn't leak. The one you're putting on right now is the one actually responsible for the flooding. The one I'm going to put on is the one that's responsible for the draining. This one right here will allow you to stack a series of risers however high you want it. The top will be open and that will dictate how high the water floods into the inside of this vessel. Sounds so good. I slide this right here like this. Flip it up. So Steve can see what we're doing here. Tighten this down. Can you do me a favor, Borger? I can. And grab that pump hose from the inside of the tote. And if you could run it out this hole, it would be ideal. That's the air hose. We're going to need the, the one that produces the water. Oh. The one attached to the pump. Gotcha. Oh, boy. This is a challenge. It's, uh, it's anyone's game now. I'm not a professional here. You could right, also here we got it. Perfect. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna plug that right into the flood fitting. I was a snake charmer. Right, that was very good. I think I saw that once in uh, Slumdog Millionaire. Once I slide this down like this, this is what is going to feed my table. So water goes in through that one. That's correct. It drains through the other one. That's, That's it. The name flood and drain. Yeah, you're gonna set this pump on an interval timer. That timer is gonna go off, you know, four, six, eight times a day. It's gonna be ten, depending on the stage of the plant and how large the plant is, how much media you need to flood. Uh, I suggest people start with four floods, 15 minutes a day. What I would like to use inside of here is these six inch uh, sure to grow blocks. Uh, once again, we used these in the other episode. Right. We set these on top of the slabs. What you can do with these is actually just stack a series of them. And you're just stacking them in the table and they, so they won't be completely submerged. You'll, they won't you'll be set completely, your level right. so the tops are... The tops stay dry. What's nice about sure to grow is it is non-wicking. And because it is non-wicking, it doesn't pull water up to the top surface. Okay. So if you keep your flood level below the top of the sure to grow block, okay. it will stay dry and algae free. Which is, again, a good thing. Right. So you could literally, you know, you can get about five across. You could probably get a total of about 15 blocks in here if you wanted. Cool. And if you grew 15 smaller plants in what they would call a sea of green or an SOG style, meaning the plants are short and bushy yeah. and have a uniform canopy, you could really get this canopy just completely even across the top and maximize your light usage. That's a flood and drain system. That's a flood and drain system. Cool. All right, Matt. Well, that was the video number, what were we on? That was number three. Number three. All right, so you can go to sure2growvideo.com to watch the watch the entire series and get educated like myself. Thank you, Matt. Not a problem. Once again, keep on growing. Peace.